Hello lovelies, it's Amanda, also known as Mrs. Archiver, and in this episode we're going to be planning for the month of July. So this is going to be the July setup for my Hobonichi Weeks, and if you're interested in seeing that, then stay tuned. Okay lovelies, so here is what we're going to be using. We're going to be using for my setup the Eye Scream collection from Muse and Rose Blood. It was a collaboration that they did. And if you did see my unboxing video on this, then you'll know everything already that's in here. But if you don't, you're gonna end up seeing it anyway. So well, let's go ahead and get started. Um, all of this, I know last time I was like all dressed up, but if you had just seen my Babe Box unboxing, then you'll know today is a low energy day and um i am doing minimal effort right now <laughs> but i have gotten my second wind and i'm excited to be here with you guys and i have still the other half of my coffee and i think with that we'll we'll be good mm -hmm. it is time it is time to change up the the cover i like to try to change up the cover uh, monthly or when I'm bored. <laughs> so I definitely feel like June was my babe boss month. And this month, I feel like I'm being more creative. First, I'm going to go ahead and take everything out because I want to. <laughs> and I have already made my cover that I will be including. So my cover, I'm not going to throw it away just in case you're wondering like, well, what are you going to do with your old covers? I actually save my old covers or dividers that I've made for other planners. So in case I do want to use it again, I can. Now, if I plan on not using it, then I will definitely recycle it. Okay, and I also have already made the cover. Here is the cover. This was actually um, an envelope from an order from the Honey Bee Shop, and I was really excited to get the pink version. And so I not only trimmed uh, the, the paper to the previous cover, but I also, with the rest of the paper, made a little reusable envelope. I just laminated it, and now I have a little stash envelope for my Hobonichi Week. So let's go ahead and put this in here. And I want the 2022 year to show, unlike before, where it was covered. So now I'm just going to move that to that side move this over here and it will be just enough room and it is a little bit thicker than the magazine paper just so that you know but it will have enough room just to show the 2022 and then I have a nice little envelope that I can like stick in here if I want to so I have an extra little pocket and I can put stuff here too and there so yeah, I can move this around if I wanted to. Yay! As far as these things, I'm just going to keep them to the side. And let's go ahead and open up these goodies. The pen I will be using will definitely be, I love kits. I can't tell you enough. Little bundles and stuff. I love it because it just takes the guesswork <laughs> out of everything. In my opinion, it takes the guesswork out of like, okay, well, what theme am I gonna do and, and all of that. I feel like it's just a lot easier. Hold on, let me put that there. I'm not sure how I will use this. Okay, I have an idea for that. I'm gonna do it later. I'm thinking I will cut it up and use it as a little folder thingy. Does that mean? Not a folder, but a, just like an overlay. There you go, an overlay. Okay, on my little sticky notes, I have, um, I want to include listings sold, videos posted, and expenses for each week. Have a section for the totals at the end of the month. So I'm gonna show you what my previous month was. This was my previous month. So I have a little sticky note of at a glance of what my listings, how many listings I sold, videos. I actually posted six videos, yay, being consistent. Uh, my expenses were pretty high. I don't mind showing that off because I paid off some credit card debt. Woo! 
Oh, yes, I paid off some accounts, so that's why I don't, that's, that's not really it every month, uh, but I did pay off some stuff, so I'm like super, super excited. But on the side, this is how I used it. I actually had like sold, vids, and then the expenses. So I could see for each week and then have this. So I did have a little collage going on right here. I didn't think that I was gonna use this section and I kind of wish I did. Uh, so this time around, that's why I made a little note that I want to have a section, use this section. I could still do a little collage, but I just wanna have added lance right here so that way I don't have to do a little post-it note each time. And on this one, uh, add birth dates, appointments, bills due, social schedule, moon phases, and personal plans. Those are the things that I mainly wanna focus on for this month to go ahead and plan. I'm going to, uh, I'm still going to use some other pens, but that's the pen that I'm going to be carrying around with me for the month. All right. Now let's see. Let's take a look at what we have. Okay. We have some hard cardboard and then we have for the week. You can also laminate one of these and then use a dry erase marker or a Sharpie marker to plan it out and then when you want to you can go ahead and get some alcohol and wipe it off or you can wipe off the permanent marker and then you can reuse it just a little tip for you on this one i wanted to update my little card to kind of go with the month but anywho on here we do have some sticky notes that and some other stickers and die cuts and that's what we're going to use to plan for the rest of the month on this I wanted to incorporate it. So here's what I'm going to do. Personal time. These are also things that I like to plan. Updated. Schedule. And that, I think, looks super cute. I'm going to wipe this out I'm using a just a white jelly roll pen to just kind of fade these out a little bit. Wednesday will be too big. Let's just cut for the first three letters. We're doing some sticker surgery here. Hmm, okay. Let's see, we need yellow, that color, blue. Those colors are good. Now we do our sticker surgery on top. I'll do just the first three letters. Let's put June. What was I thinking? July. Oh! I think I messed up. I wanted to have a section here for the videos every week. And what did I just do? I got so excited and then I just covered it up. <laughs> 
I just started doing the things. I just started doing all the things. Well, Amanda. <laughs> Maybe I'll have it. Oh, shoot. How small are these squares? These are my little sticky notes for the weeks. <laughs> this one makes me smile. <laughs> and if it makes me smile, I'm putting it down. There we go. Hashtag melting. <laughs> I do want to highlight days. I just think that would be cool as an overlay. Where's my, here we go. Now the trick is, is do I laminate it? I think I should laminate it. I think I should laminate it. I laminated it because I'm extra. That's why. That's why. I just think that it would be a cool little dashboard for the month. That's cool. I'm like adding more and more stuff. <laughs> so yeah, and now I have a cool little dashboard. I can put all the things on there. And that right there. So I have a little pocket that I made. And then I have my own little dashboard that I can kind of take out and put wherever I need it. This can now switch to this new month. Yay! And then this can go toward my new week. There we go! It is simplistic, yet it's to the point. <laughs> I hope you guys like that, like the new cover and the month. I know I do. So don't forget to uh, check back for new videos. If you like this video, don't forget to comment and hit the like button so that way other people can find my videos. And if you want to join the community and want to be notified every time I upload a new video, go ahead and hit subscribe and the bell notification. So until next time, guys, have a wonderful day.